Connor Carty. Uh, just doing again a bit of a player profile, just for the people that don't know. Uh, basically, so they do know who you are. So Connor, uh, nice to meet you. Firstly, and uh, so who who are you playing for at the moment? What position are you playing? And you know, uh, play for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Play up front. Play a striker. Yeah, and how are you getting on? Obviously, Wolves are you know doing very well in the Premier League. Uh, it's a breakthrough season. Uh, have you, did you just sign there this year? Or was um, it last year? I went over when I was um, just after turning sixteen and playing 16s football and then this year signed so I'm a scholar so first season over there now first season in 18s football this year yeah Brilliant uh, have you been getting much advice from say any of the first team players maybe even Matt Doherty um, the fact it's only the odd time when you go down he'd, he'd chat away to you you wouldn't really see them around the club or whatever but yeah when you go down he would he'd chat away to you yeah, um, well that's fantastic. That you know, it's, it's always nice to hear when you know Irish players are at the same club and they take the time out to kind of look after the yeah. younger lads or whatever. Um, but you're adapting well over there and everything's going well for you. Yeah, yeah, it's not not bad. Yeah, looking, it's been really good since I've been over there. So yeah, yeah, and just in regards to obviously we're out here for the launch at the under 17s and whatever. Um, just in regards to yourself, uh, how much are you looking forward to you know representing your home country in yeah. Ireland itself? I'd say the last three weeks, just the nerves and everything, just thinking about it constantly. You've always been, you're falling asleep thinking about it, like and just the nerves are so high. Just but yeah, again, just really looking forward to it. Like. Yeah, well, that obviously must be a huge honour because I mean, not that many teams, not that many players get to represent yeah. their uh, country in a you know in a tournament at all, especially on home soil. So how, how much are you? You know, embrace. Are you going to embrace? Oh, definitely. Uh, this yeah, I think it'll be really enjoyable as well. Can, with your family and friends, everything coming up to support you, and I think the atmosphere and everything for it will be be really good. Yeah, and just in, in regards to just yourself and the team or whatever, there seems to be a really good buzz around the place. So you, you all mix very well. Yeah, everyone, everyone gets on with everyone. Like we're all friends. We all know each other since we've been really young because all involved in our squad since we've been 15, 16. So everyone mingles together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just uh, like kind of looking at how well the underage setups they're doing now, you know, this could be a real um, time for you guys maybe to you know make yourselves heroes. You know what I mean, yeah. regardless of whatever happens in your career, if you go and win something on, on yeah, home soil now, you'll, you'll be always remembered. Yeah, regardless. definitely. Yeah, no, everyone think everyone we know we can do. It's just believing in yourself now to go and do because we've bet big countries before the likes of Poland and stuff so we know we can do it yeah yeah and uh, we, were, we were just speaking to Andrew there just uh, previously about um, you know last year with the with uh, the game against Holland and we were, yeah. we were robbed um, but I was saying that you could probably take motivation from how oh, well the, yeah. the team did last year to yeah. kind of coming on now this year you know and I think we have the likes of Jimmy here as well that he's been in that situation before and he knows how to prepare for the big game so everyone can feed off him and chat to him and yeah, just get all the information we can just to settle the nerves and stuff. Yeah, it seems that you guys are quite close. I know uh, you were at the um, the game last night in, in Tallis Stadium uh, and you all seem to be you know mixing quite well or whatever. It seems to be a really good you know vibe and a good time for, for our football at an yeah. underage level, you know what I mean? It's, it just seems to be there's a lot of good players seem to be coming through. Yeah. Are you excited about the future? Definitely, yeah. I think this this can play a big role in your career like this this tournament as well so I think everyone wants to do really well in it and just do the country proud I suppose yeah yeah uh, we, we, we also said to Andrew like um, if you've been watching any reruns or maybe Cares Kids or any any of that type of stuff just to kind of get yourself psyched up for the tournament yeah I suppose like I watched it last year and just the the crowds were massive last year and it was at England for Ireland like the supporters over there but this year it's on home soil so I think again the support and everything like that's a big boost for us as well having it here so yeah really looking forward to it absolutely well hopefully you get uh, you finish the tournament's top score yeah. and uh, we, we bring home the trophy so just thanks, thanks for your time and thank you. I wish you best of luck all right?